Okay, in the last episode, we had bought an upgrade for my multi-tool, and it didn't show up in my inventory. So let's try it again. It was a S-Class Scatter Blaster a tech upgrade. There it goes. And it's in my inventory. So, exiting without saving and reloading seems to work. Okay, 6,045. All right, so this gives 2% damage. This gives 1% damage. We'll dismantle this. And then move that to be adjacent. Why did my damage potential go down? You know what, I'm gonna add the barrel ionizer. In this episode, I plan to make the the Atlas Seeds, these things. So we'll have to get the Indium and everything else to do that. But first... Oh, is there... percent three percent yeah I don't know why it's not at six thousand forty five all right well look at this Let's put in the ricochet module. Okay. All right. So the very first thing, let's see, this needs the photic jade. The photic jade needs the dawn's end. The dawn's end needs dark matter. Dark matter needs nucifaric, nucifaric orb. Nucifaric orb needs englobed shade. The englobed shade needs captured nano. So first we'll make the captured nano. The new spheric shade needs the englobed shade needs the captured nanode and a hundred ferrite will make that. Okay, we have the englobed shade. Now uh
the new spheric orb needs the englobed shade and a hundred ionized cobalt. Actually, the ionized cobalt will be easy. We'll get the cobalt from the mine and then we'll put it in our refiner. First, the system we're in is Aporo's Dab is the name of the system. Let's go to the mining base. Okay, let's go back to the space station. hundred ionized cobalt so yeah I didn't really have to get more I just did okay you see if I put it in the refiner two to one it will go to ionized cobalt the new spheric orb. Okay, so next we'll make dark matter using the new spheric ore. Okay, and then <clears throat> Dawn's End is made out of the dark matter with 25 chromatic metal. Then we need a hundred copper to make the photic jade. Let's go to our base and look and see if we have copper in our container. And if we don't, at our base, uh, we should be able to find copper over there somewhere. Do we have any copper? Activated copper. All right, we need to find copper. We'll head to the paraffinium. We'll take the paraffinium and hopefully we'll be able to see to see copper from there. Paraffinium and then I'll look for copper. Yep, 
There we go, copper and copper. Nine hundred and eighty five copper, I think that's enough. Okay, with the copper and the dawn's end, we make the photic jade using a hundred copper. Okay, then using photic jade. We need to make state phasure, which means we need cadmium. We need a hundred cadmium. Now when we broke down a tech, we had cadmium. So actually, We've got enough already from breaking down, you know, when you have like one of these upgrades, you see, if you dismantle this, you get deuterum and cadmium in a wiring loom. That's where we got the cadmium from. Okay, state phaser, one photic jade and 100 cadmium. Okay, we could put that back in the storage container. All right, now using the state phaser, we need emerald to make the Nove reclaimant, a hundred emerald. So we'll pin that. Now we don't have any emerald, do we? Okay, to go to a system that has emerald, it must have green stars. Do I have an emerald drive? And I need a spaceship expansion slot for that. Let's check that distress beacon out. A B class, please. If you want the coordinates, here you go. Ah, an S class life support module. Let's install that. Twenty eight percent. Solar panel, 64 life support. All the other S-Class ones are better, so we'll dismantle that. And put that on the starship. As I enter the vessel, I'm greeted by a pile of military multi-tools clearly thrown from a rack that once housed them. They fizz and spark and look unsafe. 
The broken body of a tendrilled behemoth lies awkwardly nearby. The craft must have crashed with such ferocity that little else is intact inside the ship. I'm going to try out a multi-tool. The loaded power cylinder explodes, burning my flesh. The multi-tool itself remains operational. It's a B-class multi-tool. I mean, it's worth three million. I'll just, I'll take it. It's free. Um, but I need to move my multi-tool back. See, I called it main. That's the one that I want. Yep, there's my main multi-tool. We'll claim the ship. We already have three S-class shield upgrades, 30% each. This is 30% as well. So what I'll do for the shield upgrade, we'll break it down. Hermetic seal. Metal plate. And launch thruster, pure ferrite, and dihydrogen jelly. Ancestral prospector. Because we're going to need a slot for the um, emerald drive anyway. Okay, you see my inventory? And you see 1619 is the time of the save. Claim scrap. Oh well, no storage augmentation. How much are the storage augmentation? Storage is 75 million and 25,000 nanites to upgrade the class. Spool of nano cable. Subatomic regulator. Recycled circuitry. We'll sell the two B-class upgrades. Nice ships. Storage augmentation. That's for the ship. Hunt low-level pirates. All right, let's try that. All right, start mission. Buddy.
What is this thing in my way? I need to get him away from that metal thing so that that doesn't get in our way of fighting. Infra knife. Pirates are there. Anything else? Journey milestone accomplished. Troublemaker destroyed 20 starships. Mission complete, hand in mission. And there's the storage augmentation. Upgrade. So Storage would cost 75 million units. We get it for free because of that. Let's put it up here. Um, let's put it near where we have the hyperdrive stuff. So that the upgrades will be together. Let's put it right there. Oh, red stellar bodies. I think that's cadmium. Yeah.
All right, let's go get an emerald. A drive that will let us. Okay, we need. We need an emerald drive. Probably going to need the indium drive, so we're going to get both of these. Emerald. And India. We need two hundred and fifty cadmium. Let's pin. Let's pin this to our... Does it let me pin it? All right, we need cadmium. Here's a way to pin stuff. Go to escape, catalog guide, materials and items, raw materials exotic, cadmium, See that ball that tells you there's cadmium there and you can see it's red. Wow, a forsaken planet with cadmium. In search of cadmium on a forsaken planet. I'm just gonna land and look for cadmium. What it what kind of planet? Unwavering. Cadmium. Cadmium. Let's see, does the starship have launch fuel? It does. Let's go for a walk. That is a normal sentinel. What do you think? That doesn't look like a forsaken. So what's up with that? I thought it would be a corrupted sentinel on a forsaken planet. Well, if you want coordinates here, if you want to have a look, there you go. cadmium and I need a wiring loom we have three of four let's see what this is open that must have been a repair kit scatter blaster module 
2% damage. So we can dismantle that uh, since 2% is, you know, we have 3% and 2% here. I'm not impressed. Plus 4% fire rate. Plus one shot per burst. You know, actually, I think this is better. I'm going to break this down and I'm going to install this. Sixty one ninety four point nine is our damage now. That's improved. And now we have what it takes to install the drive. All right, let's go get Emerald. Exotic Emerald. And the map will guide us to a green system. Notice it's got the, it's green and it's got the ball next to it. There's a space station. As a working galactic trade terminal. How cool is that? little hard to see. All right, emerald and gold. 